Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about what's called the Madonna Whore Complex, or sometimes it's called the Madonna Mistress Complex. And it's a psychological complex specifically centered around men. Not all men, but specifically centered around men that involves segregating all females into basically two camps. The Madonna, which is a female characterized by purity, virtue, and saintly dispositions. And then the whore, which is a promiscuous promiscuous woman. I can never say that word. This Madonna whore complex or theory was first introduced by none other than the sick fuck himself, Austrian neurologist Sigmund Freud. And this theory basically suggests that men cannot distinguish between motherly love and the love received through their, through their significant other and thus causing them to have deep anxiety. To cope with this, they devalue and objectify their partners by dividing them into two categories, the Madonna or the whore. Now, not all men experience the Madonna whore complex, but all men can experience this complex. So it's very important to understand that not everyone falls into this, but we as men can fall into this camp. I'm going to put up a picture and I want to explain this picture because this is the most accurate representation of the Madonna whore complex. And this picture was actually painted in 1418 by the Italian painter, I'm gonna butcher it, but Olivuco di Cicerello. And it is really probably the most accurate visual representation of the Madonna whore complex. Madonna, the Virgin Mary in this case, is illustrated to be positioned on the ground, draped in blue robes, accentuated with highlights of gold as she breastfests the child, infant Jesus, in her arms. It's a deed of love and rectitude. The 12 apostles of Jesus form a gleaming golden halo around the Virgin Mary's head, representing glittering stars with the archangels Gabriel and Michael and St. George kneeling, occupying the spaces beside them, collectively depicting an image of purity. But if you look at the image directly below, completely contrasts this effect. The whore, represented by Eve, lies naked with a fruit in her hand, the forbidden fruit, and shows her inching that fruit closer to her mouth in an attempt to consume it. A serpent is also present in the lower half of the painting and helps develop a picture of Eve giving in to the temptation of consuming the forbidden fruit as it urges her to eat it. The illustration refers to Genesis 3, 1 through 6 from the Bible as Eve allows herself to be tempted by the snake, thus resulting her being depicted as the promiscuous woman, characteristically similar to the archetype of the mistress or the whore. I do a lot of coaching with one, with men who claim that they view their wives differently after marriage or after having children, and usually it's a combination of the two. These men are split. When they were dating and courting their wife, they used to have crazy, disrespectful, passionate sex with them. But many men have issues with the separation of sex and love. Love is to be reserved for the good girl, for the one to bring home to mom, for wifey material. Sex, on the other hand, is reserved for that bad, naughty girl, the one you can't think without getting an erection growing almost uncontrollably. While these men can and still do desire their wives or their partners, when they enter this certain stage, when they enter into this complex, it's almost like a flip. Of a, it's almost like a flip of a switch. 
and again, it's usually around marriage or while they're in, while they've gotten married and they're starting to have kids. This switch flips, and instead of viewing their partner as the whore, they view their partner as the Madonna. And it's hard for these men to fantasize about their girlfriends or wives the way they can think or fantasize about that strange hot girl at the end of the bar. Gone are those fantasies of slipping off to the bathroom for a mouth hug or bending your girlfriend or wife over in a changing table at Target. No more disrespectful sex. They have this thought that I can't think this way. I can't view her that way. She's the mother of my children. Because they view their wives now as the Madonna, the problem lies is he still has these sexual needs. And now they're needs that he can't satisfy with his wife. And as a result, he begins to wander to the whore because he doesn't see the whore as sacred or pure. And he can't fully enjoy having that debased, animalistic sex with his wife that he can with the whore. Because he sees sex as something dirty, which he can't possibly share with his wife, the Madonna, he, because he respects her so much, this becomes a prime recipe for infidelity on both sides because the man starts looking outside the relationship for women he thinks can be he can be sexually honest with he can explore his sexual desires with but now the wife is thinking she's undesirable the wife is thinking she is unattractive and so what does she do starts looking elsewhere for other men who will find her desirable. So in my coaching, I see the Madonna horror complex quite often. When it gets to this level and it actually gets into infidelity and cheating, and I understand women watching this, they're going to completely lose their shit when I say this, but some men cheat not because they disrespect their wives, is because they have this complex and they respect her so much, they don't want to do the kinky, animalistic sex they can do with the whore. They don't want to debase their wife. Is it right? No, I'm not saying it's right. But it is a perspective a lot of women don't think about or don't know about. And when I bring it up and I explain it, at least it's another perspective on when their husband cheats. It may not have anything specifically do with their lack of desirability or their lack of love that the husband has for the wife. It has to do with this complex. It has to do with understanding the Madonna and understanding the whore. And it's also understanding to a large degree that both of these women can be one. And we're going to get into that in a minute. Before we get into the how do you fix this part, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you like video content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit like, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, let's get back at it. So the bigger question is, how can this be fixed? Well, like I said, men, we need to integrate our partners, our wives, that Madonna, and we have to integrate her into the whore as well. How you do that is kind of accepting and understanding that all women are sexual beings. All women where most women enjoy sex just as much as men. A lot of women have fantasies that they would love to fulfill with you. A lot of women have kinky desires that they would love to fill with you. You just have to get her into a safe space to allow her to open up those fantasies, to open up those desires and fully appreciate that your wife can also be your whore. Just because you're in this relationship where you have a ring on it doesn't mean 
she doesn't still crave these wild, passionate, almost what if we get caught by doing it here type sex in different places. She's still a woman. Yes, she's now your wife, but she's still a sexual being. If you're in a relationship now and you're start, you kind of feel this way or this is resonating with you, and you're like, yeah, I never, I never had a name for this, but this is starting to resonate with me that I do understand this, that I do love my wife so much, but I have so many sick sexual desires that I can't possibly do that with her. Understand that you might be a little twisted, but she might be a little twisted too. And so if you're feeling like that switch is flipping, well, the best thing you can do is fuck your way out of it with your wife or your girlfriend or your long-term lover. Start having these conversations. Start explaining to her what this concept is to you and how maybe show her this video, maybe do some more research on this because it is very real. But you need to fuck your way back into passion. You need to keep that passion and relationship alive. And I know it can be difficult, especially when you have kids and they're young and maybe the, the, your, your wife is tired because she's been watching the kids all day. You have to figure out a way to have sexy time. You have to figure out a way to get these sexual needs that you have and that she has out so that you don't look other places and she doesn't look other places. She is your wife and she is the mother of your children, but she also can be your little whore. And she wants that, guys. I'm telling you, she, women are super sexual creatures. Once you give them the space and that experience and that safety to really let her own sexual desires come out, she will explode them onto you if given her that space and that safety. Treat her like that little whore, that sexy little piece of ass you see at the end of the bar. Treat your wife like that. Understand that your wife can be an angel, but she can also be your devil. And just because she's your date, your, your devil at times doesn't mean she can't have that love and that respect for you and the children and that you guys grow together. Integrate those two. In integrate the Madonna and the whore into that one woman and watch your sex life. Watch your passion. Watch the crazy ideas you guys come up with for sex come alive and treat her like those two people. She's your Madonna. That idea of, I want a lady in this, what is it? A lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets or something like that. That's what you want. You want your wife to be that respected figure in society, but behind closed doors, you want to play, guess what's in my mouth. You want to play Guess where I put it? You want her to be your dirty little whore. So integrate those two. Understand, you don't have to flip that switch between Madonna and whore. You can just break the switch and integrate them. That's all I got on this one. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Lens Club, and we will talk soon. 